Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a free and simple game using GameMaker. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to do is open your web browser. Uh, now this tutorial does work for both Windows and Mac, so when you're going into the description uh, for the link, uh, you want to go on the right one. If you have a Windows, click on the Windows 1 Mac. Mac, it's pretty easy. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to open up the link and you're going to click on the trial version. Uh, you can download the full version if you want to, but uh, for since we're making it free, we're just going to download the trial right now. Alright, so as you can see, uh, all you have to do is drag GameMaker into your applications folder. Uh, the Windows process is pretty easy as well. Uh, but I'm not going to actually download it right now because you can see I've already downloaded it. It's in my dock. Um, but now we're actually going to get into the real part of the tutorial. Alright, so what you're going to do now is go into Finder if you're on a Mac. Uh, I believe you already have the desktop icon if you have a Windows computer. But if you don't, uh, just go into your applications. And um, I'm derping around over here. Yeah, just go into your applications right over here. And just type G for Game Maker. And it should be here. You can drag it to your dock or your desktop or whatever. Uh, right click it and make a shortcut if you have Windows. Uh, but we're just going to open it right now. Okay, so when you open it, just click Start Game Maker and then X out of this little window. And now you're on to the main window. Uh, now there's a couple things that you could do here. Um, one, you can make a new file, but by default, it's already at a uh, new file right over here. Uh, but to actually get started, you're going to uh, make a new sprite. And by doing that, just click a uh, this Pac-Man button. Uh, now a sprite is pretty much just a picture. Uh, we're going to call this sprite character number zero. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, like main character or whatever. But uh, for the simplicity of this tutorial, we're just going to name it that. Uh, now I'm going to load my sprite, but you could just go ahead on editing. Uh, I just feel like loading my sprite because I want some sort of template to work with. Um, but yeah, let's just get into editing it. Uh, click show preview and then click on that little uh, drawing tool. Uh, now you want to maximize the window until um, it's big enough for you to see. This program uh, kind of works like Microsoft Paint, by the way. Uh, in fact, it's almost an exact copy of it. Uh, so that's pretty easy to use, uh, never, none the, nevertheless. But um, yeah, there are a couple of key tools that you can use here. I uh, like the fill tool, um, and then there's uh, select the color tool or whatever, but pretty standard uh, for a photo editing or paint program. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to make my character right over here, and I'm going to uh, come back when I'm done. Alright, so if you like your character, click the check button and then click check again. Don't mind the green background, that's pretty standard. It turns transparent when you're done. Uh, but now we're just going to create an object. Click that blue button. And uh, now you're going to click this button and select your character. Now what this is going to do is we're going to allow your character to move. Um, just leave everything checked uh, the way it is and then click add event. Uh, now you want to click uh, keyboard and then click all the buttons on the keyboard, uh, left, right, up, down. Uh, don't do control, alt yet. Um, we'll probably save that for later for like special moves and stuff. Uh, and click no key. Now uh, for down, you want to uh, drag this uh, little red kind of move thing over here. And then click uh, wh whatever you're moving. I think I clicked no key first. And then drag it for each of the keys. Uh, left is left and uh, make the speed 5 or 10 or however fast you want it to and then just continue doing that for all of the keys and it's a pretty simple process uh, so uh, just watch if you have any trouble uh, if your character is moving odd you probably didn't click the right thing or maybe you uh, left some boxes unchecked or something like that uh, but yeah once you've got everything down and you made sure everything's right just click OK uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to create the background, so click that little window box right over here. And uh, now you're just going to place your character on the grid by left clicking, and once you like where your character is on the screen, uh, just click the checkbox. And now you're going to click the play button to compile your video game, uh, and just click on the uh, window that you're 
characters in. Now you can move around, and I know it's not like a real video game, not a full video game, but um, if you want to learn how to make more enemies and backgrounds and stuff, uh, just subscribe to Galactic Tutorials because I'm definitely making more videos in the future, probably very, very soon, like tomorrow or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, um, and I will see you guys next time.